What I have in my hand is a brand new titanium mecha quartz chronograph. It's been sent out to the channel so we can have a look at it. It's an interesting watch. Uh, I quite like the salmon dial. There's uh, the, obviously it's not without its flaws, but we're gonna we're gonna have a hands-on first look at this watch today, guys. So stick around as we check this out. Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. So as you can see here, we've got the brand new watch. It's a, this is a first look, it's a pre-production model. So we're gonna, there's obviously gonna be a few little flaws and errors and, and what have you on this watch. But it's a very interesting watch because it's a titanium case. And for those who know, uh, I basically reviewed this uh, RZE Resolute uh, just a little while ago. And they've got their titanium ultra hex coating and it makes it very, very strong. And I had this watch using it in the garden and I actually scraped it. I scraped it across here with a shovel really hard and after washing it and cleaning it and having a, a good close inspection of the watch, there wasn't the mark anywhere. If that was any of my other watches, it would have really shown the damage, whether a dent, a scrape, some sort of a scar, it, it really would have shown, except for G-Shock, of course, but I'm quite impressed at the hardness of not only of the titanium case, but the fact that it's not marking because of the ultra hex coating. But um, this particular new one that they've uh, sent out to us, it's an interesting shape. I don't mind it. It's, it's different. It looks different. So I always like watches that look different. The, the shape, the weight that these pushes, you know, you can see the chronograph pushes. They seem to be uh, sort of semi-recessed uh, into the actual case. So it, it forms a, a nice shape. Very modern, very unique. Uh, it, it's Look, it's something different. So I don't have a problem with that. Now, including a mecha quartz movement into a watch like this, you're basically gonna get a strong, robust uh, watch, something that can handle shocks. So very similar to a G-Shock. A G-Shock is designed with a quartz movement. It's a robust casing, so it can handle knocks and bumps. I think they've gone down the same road with this. But let's get onto the specs. So what we have here is a case diameter of, I measure at 42.1 mil. The case height comes in at 12.6 millimeters. The lug width is exactly 20 and the lug to lug distance is 49 mil. So a very interesting case shape. I think it's, you know, it comes in at 79.8 grams, which is really nothing. So let me give you guys a wrist shot. Okay, there you go. So that's how the watch sits on my seven inch wrist. Extremely, extremely comfortable. Guys, a really pleasurable experience. Uh, this is the thing about watch reviews. When you guys watch reviews on YouTube and you see, we, we express our feelings of what we've got on the wrist, this thing's fantastic. It comes in at about 79, 80 grams as a total package. A really, really good experience on the wrist, guys. You don't even know you've got it on. The same experience I had with the RZE, the Resolute, the, the blue one. Thoroughly enjoyed that watch, thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. This is no different. Although it's a bigger size watch, it's still got that pleasurable, very light, very robust. It, it feels super strong, so I love what I'm seeing here. Now, as you can see, the watch itself, the lug to lug distance of 49, sits great on my wrist. The height, 12 and a half millimeters, beautiful. The watch also comes on an FKM rubber strap, and look, it, it seems to be really nice. It's, it's malleable, it's soft, it's got its uh, nice gradations underneath, so, you know, for sweating, it's got a fantastic buckle as well. So, I'm not seeing any design problems with this strap. There's no lint, there's no dust, it seems to be a decent unit. Okay, so there's the watch. So basically, guys, like I said, the movement in this is a Series 2 VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. So if you want a watch that's going to be strong, robust, it can handle knocks, it can handle bumps, there's no better movement than, than Quartz. So that's what uh, G-Shock does. That's what obviously they've done in this particular unit. Being a, a Mecha Quartz, as you can see, it's got its nice smooth sweep. We can stop it instant reset so let's start her up again but i like the integrated pushes they seem to be very nice the way they, they're shaped but this watch features 200 meters of water resistance so these aren't screw down pushes they're push pu uh, push in so i'm sort of struggling to see how this is going to have 200 meters of water resistance maybe i'm wrong i don't know but it, it says 200 meters so that's something to note i'll have to look at their literature as this thing gets released something to look at but it does have a screw down crown which is great and another thing about the case, I love the fact that even though it's got hard angles, just like the RZE Resolute, 
it's actually good to the feel. It feels uh, it feels sublime in the hand. It doesn't feel bad. And I mentioned that in that review that although the watch is sharp and, and hard in angles, it does feel good. So I like the finishing of their cases. I think they're providing, I think RZE are providing a really nice product. Something that's durable, robust, strong, but it really does look good. It really does. And this salmon dial that I have here, guys, is fantastic. As you can see, it's a multi-layered dial with oversized applied indexes filled with Swiss Super Luminova. So I'll give you guys a loom shot to show you what this watch looks like. And as you can see, those hands and markers, plenty of Swiss Super Luminova. It's evenly applied, very bright. I think, I think they've really nailed it with the lumen. There's plenty of real estate in those markers and in those hands, and I think they've filled them well, so good job. I like the way that they've placed the sub dials at the nine and the three o'clock. I think it brings a little bit of symmetry and balance. It, it's quite a, a good visual appeal there. You've got your tachymetric scale on the outside as well, and it also features a screw down crown. So like I said, it's 200 meters of water resistance, but those pushes, it's questionable. That's for me. I've, I don't understand how they get 200 meters with pushes like this. The springs really have to be super strong. Alternatively, if you were to knock this, you, you could get potential leaking. Now getting back to the crown, as you can see it's a reverse engraved logo so we'll unscrew that. There you go, it pops out. Two clicks and we can adjust the time to wherever we want. Single click and we can adjust the date. Lock that in. We latch it on, we screw it in and we've got the 200 meters of water resistance. I think the watch is designed to be a very usable watch, a very rugged, robust, you know, everyday wear and tear sort of a, a unit. And that's exactly how I use the blue version. I was using it on shooting a, a photography gig. I had it on my wrist. I bumped it with tripods, this, that. I never found any marks. It's a, it's a really robust case finishing. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, if we have a look at the side profile of this watch, as you can see, it's, uh, again, very sharp, very modern looking. I, I really don't mind a, a slightly different look from when normally used to curves. And obviously, titanium is a harder material to shape, but I think they've done a great job. You can see you've got your drilled lugs, which is pretty cool. So turning the watch over, you can see that we've only got a standard screw down titanium case pack. I'm not sure if they have the ultra hex coating on this particular unit. I know that with mine, they didn't. That's something to note. Now the watch comes in three different colorways. The one that I have in my hand is called the Vintage Salmon. As you can see, it's in the hand, it's really, really nice. I love the tonality of this. It's actually the, the grayness or the silverness of the actual case in the contrast with that salmon is perfect it really is guys it just looks the part so i'm really enjoying this there's also what's called the gt black which has got beautiful nice orange accents and lastly there's also the crusader white with its blue accent so i like their colorways they've stayed to three different types of styles different types of personalities will desire different types of looks now as far as the glass is concerned on this, you've basically got a sapphire crystal, a flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the undersides. It seems to be doing a great job. I've not had an issue with it. It's clean, clear, crisp. So I think RZE have produced a really decent watch here. Uh, look, there's not much that I can fault apart from those pushers and the uh, 200 meter rating. Everything else, guys, is pretty much subjective. It sits well on the wrist. Uh, Size-wise, it's pretty cool. Um, it's light, it's you know, indiscreet, uh, but it does look nice. The salmon, the color is, is really cool. I, uh, I, I don't mind, I'm not, I'm not a salmon guy, but I've enjoyed the color of this. And uh, it's basically converted me to, to enjoy salmon as a color on a watch. So that's, that's a pretty big ask for me anyway. Now in the world of watch affordability, when micro brands are bringing watches out to us, different types, different uh, varieties, I think for me personally, I'm thinking from an engineering mindset and I see I see value for money and I think a lot of us do that. We see value as far as your dollar goes further for what you get. We all know that the more money you spend on watches, uh, pretty quickly value for money drops uh, considerably, you know, <laughs> logarithmically. Um, you don't get what you pay for. You might spend 10 grand on a watch and you're not getting a much better watch than a, you know, a thousand dollar watch. So, but it is what it is. Guys, quite an interesting, uh, uh, Quite an interesting proposition here I, I don't mind it like i said it's only a first look you know we're only having a first look at this watch hands-on the watch is going to be available for sale on the 31st of july so you know check them out get on their website have a look um i don't mind what i'm seeing in the hand i, I really can't see many faults with this watch 
uh, you know, everything's legible, clean. There are, on close-up detail when I was doing macros, there are a couple of marks here and there on the dial, but again, this is a prototype. Uh, you know, I've not, uh, the one that I have, the blue version of the, uh, the Resolute, uh, that's pretty much flawless. So, I think quality control is up to speed. So guys, check them out, feel free, get on their website, let me know your thoughts, what you think of this company, what you think of this particular watch or any of the three that you saw. For me, I'm liking the color. It's converted me to salmon, so I don't mind it. But thanks again for watching, guys. I'll leave some images at the end and we'll see you in the next video.